Hello everyone. In this video, we will read class 7th poem, Meadow Surprises by Lewis Brand Phillips. World around us is beautiful and full of surprises. This is what the poet has expressed in his poem, Meadow Surprises. Meadow means an open grassland. Walk across a green field, a park or even under a clump of trees. Clump means a small group of trees or plants that grow closely together. And you will notice many wonderful things. What are some of the surprises a meadow has for someone with a keen eye and a sharp ear? Keen means sharp eyes. So the poet says that if you take a walk across a green field, a park or even if you see under a tree, you will notice that there are many wonderful things, many beautiful things. What are some of these surprises that a meadow has to offer to someone who observes keenly and hears keenly? Let's see some of these in the poem. Meadows have surprises. You can find them if you look. Walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook. Velvet grass means soft grass and brook is a small stream of water. The poet says that meadows have many surprises and you can find that these surprises if you look sharply, if you look carefully. Walk softly on the soft grass and listen to a small stream that is flowing through this meadow. So the poet says that meadows have many surprises to offer. One has to have a keen eye and keen ear to notice all these surprises. You may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup. Buttercup is a hibiscus plant, a plant with bright yellow cup shaped flowers and unfold its drinking straws to sip the nectar up. Nectar is the sweet juice of plants. So if you see keenly, you may see a butterfly who is resting upon a buttercup, who is resting upon a flower and then it will unfold its straws. Butterfly has natural straws to suck, flower, uh, suck juice from the plant. So if you observe keenly, you will see a butterfly unfolding its natural straws and sipping the nectar, sipping the juice from the plants. Now, if we see the rhyming scheme of this poem, first four words, surprises, look, grass, brook. So surprises is A, look is B, grass doesn't rhyme with any of the above. So we have given it C and brook rhymes with look. So we have given it B. So the rhyming scheme is A, B, C, B. Now let's read other stanza. You may scare a rabbit who is sitting very still, though at first you may not see him. When he hops, you will. So if you walk, you may scare a rabbit who until now was sitting quietly. Though at first you will not notice a rabbit sitting, but you will notice him when he hops, when he runs away. So rabbit is often scared of people. If you are not careful and walk without uh, noticing, you can scare a rabbit. You will not see it first because it sits very quietly. But when he starts running, when he starts hopping, you will notice it. A dandelion who f who's fuzzy head. Dandelion is a small a flower plant which is uh, very brittle. If you blow its leaves, it will fly away. A dandelion whose fuzzy head, fuzzy head is freezy and velvety, very soft petals, was golden days ago. It was golden some days ago, has turned to airy parachutes that flutter when you blow. Airy, pa airy parachute means uh, it will just the leaves or you can say the petals of the flower just will start flying in the air if you blow flutter means start moving in the air start fluttering so a dandelion which was just golden some days ago if you have noticed will just fly up in the air if you blow explore the meadow houses the burrows in the ground so in the meadows you will also find many houses like the burrows of rabbits or other animals a nest beneath tall trees. Beneath means under, below, tall trees. An ant's amazing mound. Mound here means the house of an ant, which is made on pile or heap of mud. 
so if you see keenly you will also notice many houses in a meadow a burrow or a nest under the tall grass or even ants house on the mud oh meadows have surprises and many things to tell you may discover these yourself if you look and listen well so meadows open grasslands they have many surprises and they have many stories to tell many things to tell you will find them yourself if you look carefully and if you listen well so the poet wants to say that nature around us is full of surprises if you have to have a keen eye and sharp ear to notice all these surprises there are many houses in a small ground there is a brook flowing there are animals sitting there are many kinds of plants you have to listen carefully you have to observe so student will you go out in your park or um, just in the garden today or just under a tree and see and notice all these surprises if you see any such surprises just comment and let me know what kind of surprises can you see in the nature so this is all about the small and beautiful poem if you have any doubt you can uh, ask me and i will reply to it thank you for listening to the poem students bye bye for now take care